Hello everybody, Into the Truth Serum this evening. It is a bucko night for baseball on this Wednesday evening. Game two of a three-game series. The undefeated, unbeaten Pittsburgh Pirates at 5-0. Taking on the Nationals here tonight. The Pirates winning their first five games to start the campaign for the first time since 1983. And they will try to stretch it to six and oh the pitching matchup mitch keller against former bucko trevor williams lineups and first pitch coming up next here from dc Welcome in everybody, give us a thumbs up, click that like button if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Over the next four days, it will be as much local as I have done in consecutive days in like years. Four straight days, four Pittsburgh teams alternating between baseball and hockey. And it is not my fault that it's been this long since I've had a four day stretch like that. Don't blame me. It's not me. It was the baseball team's fault because they just when wouldn't uh, win. The Capitals beat Penguins. Was that all through your schedule? I would still do Saturday's game against Tampa because it's on ABC anyway. A loss to Washington would influence games early next week. Oh. It would not impact Saturday. Very good question. Question is dumb. Everybody make sure to give us some love here as we will see if Mitch Keller can keep this line moving. As there is the pirate right hander, as on opening day he allowed five runs, four of them earned. In five and two thirds innings, in a very wild game that the Pirates won to start their season. As it's all about trying to bank these wins here early in the season. Once these wins are banked, you can't take now them back. It seems like they get the upset sometimes, don't they? Well, hopefully he can recapture the form the last time he faced this Washington National lineup. He went eight scoreless innings. That's good. When he gave up his four earned runs uh, last game, were they... In the first and second inning, or the first? Uh, two of them were in the second inning. That was not be that was because the Pirates could not turn a double play ball. Oh, but they were still earned runs. Uh, one of them was on earned because of an error, and the other was a play where the Pirates did not turn two, should have, but did not turn two because they still got an out. It was still, you know, not charging air, so the runs were earned. But if the defense was sharper behind him, the runs would have not been given up. Welcome into the stream, Daniel Jeremiah in Danger. Uh, what did you watch, Danger, at 6 a.m.? I hope it was Looney Tunes, cartoons, or something like that, my friend. But Trevor Williams, the starter for the Washington Nationals tonight, former Pittsburgh Pirate for a handful of of years. Can the pirates keep this wave moving, Hollywood? Can they keep it going? I think they'll probably sweep Washington. I have my doubts about Baltimore. Baltimore won 101 games last season. 
they are stacked. I will be very intrigued to call the home opener on Friday. I'm telling you, thank goodness we're doing hockey on Saturday instead of baseball. Because do you want to watch Bailey Falter pitch to that Baltimore lineup? Not really. I don't. So we're not going to. <laughs> Some of these games may get really done, too. I have no clue. Oh, nice. Oh, you, oh, you saw Brian Ross playing Fortnite in D.C. Nice. Yeah, I know the weather is supposed to be not the greatest for the home opener on Friday. Yeah, it stinks. I'll tell you this now before I forget. It is a 4 p.m. start Friday. Okay? If you're over here at like 3.30, I might not be home yet. So when you come over, until I'm home, park in the street, but not directly in front of the driveway. Okay, so you can pull your car. Yes. Yes, because the last thing I need are uh, insane morons out there on the road parking in front of the driveway and making it more difficult to get in. <clears throat> What's really hard is getting in when they play the Back here, everybody, Pirates. And the Nationals. Pirates winning on Monday by a score of... Eight to four. Along the East Coast. Along the East Coast, it has been raining pretty much non-stop over the last 36 to 48 hours. It looks like we are in a pause in the conditions here. So both ball clubs trying to get this game in tonight. There is a window to get this game in, and that window is now. The weekend of the 19th, 20th, and 21st, the Boston Red Sox come to town to take on the Buccos. Do you have any DC teams come out after this? After this series, they have three against Baltimore, not easy. Two against the Tigers. And then they travel to New York to take on the Mets. Oh, that's not too bad. Especially against the New Yankees. The Pirates finish their season against the New York Yankees. Yeah, Final three games of the season. Actually, if they're like a playoff team and they're playing the Yankees right before the play, it works out great for me. Like, great for me. Like, I wouldn't rather have them play a team more than the Yankees. This is the Pirates' starting lineup. This is the first time they have faced a right-handed starting pitcher this season, Holly. With the first five games of the year, they faced lefties. Trevor Williams, the first right-hander, struggled last year, got beat around. O'Neill Cruz is in the leadoff spot tonight. He is batting leadoff because of 
Trevor Williams being a right-hander on the mound. The defense behind Trevor Williams is Rosario, Robles, and Thomas in the outfield left to right. Lipscomb at third, Abrams at short, Garcia at second, Gallo at first, and Ruiz will do the catching. As there is Washington Nationals manager Davey Martinez. As it is the Bucks and the Nats game two. And right. that is, Look where that is at the ankles, and it's called for a strike. Change up outside, one ball, one strike. There's an issue here. Home plate umpire Mike Munchlinski over near the first base dugout. Jansen Visconti at first base. And we'll go through the list of umpires as we go on this evening. As everybody steps back in in the 1-1. Change up in the dirt. Two balls and a strike. Two one pitch, got a piece of it foul. Counts two and two. Change up, swung on and missed. A strikeout of O'Neill Cruz starts the game for the right-hander Williams. And here is Brian Reynolds. Fastball runs outside, ball one. Gets the outside corner for a strike. I think this might be the first ever Pirates-Washington game, Pirates-Nationals, I've ever streamed on YouTube. Mm -hmm. no, that's history. This is pulled in the right field, and it is caught by the right fielder, Lane Thomas, for out number two. Bases empty, two out to the plate. P. Brian Hayes, and that's called ball one. <laughs> He's batting 391 for the first five games of the season. That is in there for a strike. One one. Two hopper to first. And a one, two, three inning for Trevor Williams. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Nationals come to bat against Mitch Keller. Welcome in, friends. Give us a thumbs up. Click that like button if you're new. Subscribe to the channel. So happy to have you with us on this Wednesday night where it has been raining all across the country. As 
I will say this, Pirates and Nationals, they're going to try everything they can to get this game in tonight. Hollywood, they... Because they, they play again tomorrow. And I... And... Yeah, with baseball, there are just so many games that sometimes with baseball, the key is just getting your tail in and getting the games played and getting your tail out, 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 out of town. There, there are just so many games that sometimes it's just, you know, in, out, just do what you gotta do. But everybody, we will be live with you tomorrow night for Pittsburgh and Washington, but hockey. Friday, we will be live. Friday afternoon, Orioles, Pirates, home opener. My neighbor will be at the game. As this is the lineup for the Nats, Abrams, Thomas, Menendez, followed by Gallo, Ruiz, Rosario, Lipscomb, Garcia, and Robles. Facing Mitch Keller tonight. Cutter top of the zone. And that is ball one. Welcome into the stream, Matt. Oh my goodness. We will definitely keep you in our prayers. Stomach surgery. Yikes. One of our loyal viewers, Matt. Cutter top of the zone, ball two. I, I don't know. Three and one, that misses just low. Three one pitch and that's popped up left side. He's got it in foul ground. Makes the catch. Key Brian Hayes in foul territory, Hollywood. This was a great play near the tarp. I honestly thought it was just gonna be a foul ball and a strike in the seats, you know, three and two. Shocked he got to that one. And there's a two-seamer that gets the outside corner to Thomas for a strike. Another fastball in there. It's 0-2. I was about to write down some, some jottings and notes for myself, but I lost what I was going to write. And look up and research. Fastball's up high, one and two. One, two pitch. Sweeper outside, two and two. He struck him out. That off speed pitch disappeared. Two up, two down for Keller. Season is still young. And a strike at the knees to Menendez, 0 and 1. That's where she put all the balls, right where you do that. You get the call every time. Outside the sweeper, ball and a strike. Counts two and one. 
to the right-handed designated hitter. Fastball right there at the knees, outside corner, right where Hollywood likes it, and it's two and two. Mitch Keller, 15th pitch of the first inning. Saws him off, ground ball to short, O'Neill Cruz. On the first, got him in time. Dueling one, two, three first innings. By our starting pitchers tonight, we'll go to the second with no score. And to answer your question, Rabbits, all of that stuff is all on uh, the YouTube side of things. That is all on the YouTube side of things. Yep, it's it's from the commentary. Yep, you are exactly right. Everybody, we're going to the top of inning number two. It is the Pirates nothing, Nationals nothing. As Jack Sawinski will take a ball low. As it is 1-0 to Jack. Let's see what he can do. And there's a base hit ripped down the right field line by Sawinski. On his way to second base, he is in with a double. Yep, and he rips a double into that corner. Here's McCutcheon batting in the five spot tonight. Takes a strike at the knees from Williams. Change up in the dirt. One and one to McCutcheon. Still Hollywood at 299 career home runs. Inside 2-1 and one the catch. Throw back to second. Sawinski back.
I will say this, Hollywood. If the Pirates keep this up, we will be in the neighborhood of probably like 70-something games a stream over the course of a season. I'm dead serious. If you're just competitive and watchable. In the dirt to catch, 3-1. and one. Welcome in, friends. Give us a thumbs up. Click that like button if you're new. Subscribe to the channel. Official streamer here of the Buckos tonight. 3-1 to catch, and that's low ball four. So a double for Sawinski. And now a walk to McCutcheon. Pirates with runners on first and second. But we still got Falter. Here is Rowdy Telez. That's a ball low. What a first name. Hit the three run homer on Sunday against the Marlins. That's down 2 0. And what I like is that with that pitch being called a ball, it's going to force Williams to have to come up into the zone with his 90 mile per hour fastball. 2 0 pitch. He came up. Telez takes it 2 1. Basically, a right handed version of Bailey Falter. But he did go on like a three-month heater for the Pirates or like a three-month stretch to get an ERA of like one and a half. And I'm like, how? Outside, three and one on Telez. Who did? Trevor Williams. And he was at the Pirates. Oh, Trevor Williams. Yeah, he went on like a three-month heater. Three-one pitch. Inside, ball four. He walked him. And the Pirates have them loaded, everybody, with nobody out. Strike throwing, strike hard. Trevor Williams, his best season with the Pirates came in 2018. As Williams throws it inside to Henry Davis, who fouls it away up the first base side for strike one. Yes, in 2018, Trevor Williams, in 31 starts, went 14-10 in 10 with an, an earned run average of 3.11. Outside for a ball, one and one. One one pitch, popped him up. Foul ground infield fly roll in effect. It is caught for the out by Gallo. Your Jared Triolo. Slider gets the edge for strike one. Welcome in, Randy. Thank you for the uh, super chat, my friends. I, my 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 friend. I do pirate games. I I call bucko games. That's in there. Oh and two. I just over the last three four years, I just haven't done as many as I would have liked to, because the team was so crappy. But I appreciate that, my man. And the O2 in the dirt breaking ball.
One two pitch. Struck him out. Breaking ball. Williams. Barron down here in the second. It is up to Michael A. Taylor. And he fouls that away right side. Pirates had the bases loaded with nobody out. But a pop out by Davis. And a strikeout. Taylor's probably the hardest player in the game right now. Pop out by Davis, strike out by Triolo. And that is low for a ball. Ball and a strike to Michael A. Taylor. No score in the second. Williams from the stretch. Fastball on the edge, one and two. Looks like a mist is coming down. And you can see the air from his breath. Outside ball two, 91 mile per hour fastball. Can the Buccos cash in here? Taylor rips it through the left side, a base hit. One run scores. Here comes the second runner. He's in. It's a two run single for the former Nat. Michael A. Taylor. Pirates a two nothing lead in the second. As he ripped it right through the shortstop Abrams. And here is back to the top, O'Neill Cruz. And that change ups outside for a ball. Hollywood, that's what I was sort of meaning with our viewers. Like, Randy, he's like, you do pirate games? Like I said, our viewers, because the team has been so bad, they don't know that, as that is, grounded up the first base side, and that's taken to the bag by Gallo, inning over. Pirates... Get two off Williams in the second. We played an inning and a half, two nothing Buccos. But they don't realize that all, out of all of the sports, the sport that I was a fan of first, the sport that was my first love, and people had, have, especially our viewers of the last four, three to four years, have no idea that my first love was baseball. Not my, shit. my first love was baseball. Thank you for that, Godfather Sports. I appreciate that. So, so it's sort of like... Everybody, we're not asking a lot of the team. We're just asking for them to be okay and competitive. And for the last, like, four years, they were not okay and they weren't competitive. Like, 2020, they were the worst team in baseball. What makes you... 2022, they lost 101 games. You wonder if this is full school, too, after last year's start. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're not asking for a lot. We're just asking for them to be entertaining and, watch and watchable. Because sort of my thing, everybody, is, is is that baseball season is so long. It's every day, six months, 162 games. I don't care how much I love the sport. But I am not watching bad baseball every day for six months. I'm not going to put myself through that. I could have put myself through that one of those Wendy burgers. Back here, Pirates 2-0 lead. In the defense behind Mitch Keller is Sawinski, Taylor, and Reynolds in the outfield left to right. Hayes and Cruz on the left side of the infield. 
Jerry Triolo, Rowdy Telez over there, second base and first, and Henry Davis behind the plate. Gallo to right, and that ball is gone. Second deck shot for Gallo. I'm not sure what that ball was. That was a cutter. That was a rainmaker. And now a two hopper up the middle of base hit. Soft grounder. Curveball strike to Rosario. And that's pulled foul one and two. I'm getting you the specific numbers now about the three month heater that Trevor Williams went on. But first, Keller's 0-2. Ground ball to first, scooped up by Telez, throw to Cruz for one, and that's all they'll get. They'll get the lead man. Fielder's choice. And the first out here in the second. Was Trevor Williams what the number two starter was then? I guess you could consider him that, I guess. Did he play last year? Not for us. It's been years since he was a pirate. I thought he still played. He's, he played for the Mets, the Nationals. But in this three-month heater he went on. 73 innings, 15 earned runs allowed for an ERA of 1.85 in 2018. Did he get anybody good for him? Uh, he was not traded. He was non-tendered because the following year he was terrible. It looks like they are ruling catcher's interference on Henry Davis. So they are going to automatically put him on. So it'll be runners on first and second, one away for Washington. And here's the second baseman, Luis Garcia Jr. to the plate. First pitch swing and stings at the deep left. Sawinski is back over his head. And the Nationals are going to tie the game up. It is a stinging double by Garcia. 2-2. Two -two. Welcome in, Bobby. How are you? Bucko's just got to keep it up, my friend. And Mitch Keller got to do some pitching here. The start of the New Jersey Devils-New York Ranger game tonight started off with a five-on-five -five brawl. Everybody grabbed someone and fought. Thank you. 
One out of Victor Robles, and that is just low ball two. Two out delivery. And that's fouled straight back. I mean straight back. He's the nine hitter. So this lineup's gonna get turned around. Hayes playing even with the third base bag. Telez about a step behind the first base bag. And that is Shockingly, ball three. Shockingly, ball three. Three one. Swing and a miss, full count, fastball above the letters. Payoff pitch, and that's tapped foul. That was a cutter. Pirates play the Nationals at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Penguins play the Capitals at 7 p.m. tomorrow. We will be on call for the hockey portion. Another 3-2. And that's low ball for the breaking ball. Base is loaded for Washington here in the second. Two runs already across in this inning. Hollywood, what I'm sort of thinking here of the Pirates schedule is, well, first of all, we will... Watch Abrams rip this for a single in the right field that gives the Nationals the lead. Two runs come home. Up to second on the throw and it's 4-2, Washington. A cutter. And now turns into a little bit of damage control here. The trainers for Washington come out. Look at Luis Garcia. And they're going to remove a uh, Garcia rather from this ball game. And 
here is the right fielder Thomas and the fastball runs inside for a ball tomorrow Martin Perez starts for the Pirates and Jared Jones the home opener on Friday Popped him up off the end of the bat. In the shallow center. Taylor catches it for the second out. And everybody stays put. And Menendez will come to the plate. But this is sort of what I'm thinking for baseball this season, for the most part. If I'm able, you know, if, you know, the schedule lines up or there's, you know, like not a, not an important hockey game or a hockey playoff game or whatnot, you know. And unless it's like a team like, you know, the Dodgers or the, or the Yankees or whatnot. If it's not like a big team like that, call one game, stream one game per series. What? No, every Pirates series stream, like it's a three-game uh, series against a stream one of the three games. If it's like the Yankees, you do all three games. But if it's like the Nationals or the Tigers, you do one. It's one and two. So he's a strike away from getting out of this. The Nationals are the four spot here in the bottom of the second inning. The one two. Good pick in the dirt by Davis. Do you know how I told you how there was a five on five brawl to start the Rangers Devils game? They're fighting again. Four and a half minutes in. Mitch Keller from the stretch, the 2-2. Well outside, ball three. Two hopper to second. Triolo is there, and the inning is over. Keller retires. I'm on the ground ball. But the Nationals put four on the tally. End of two. Washington four. Pittsburgh two. But everybody, that is sort of my sort of talking out loud plan here. How it all specifically goes, we will see. But sort of my plan for this season, especially this early part of the season while we sort of start to feel out this team and how they are, when I'm able, call m minimum one game per series. Like, for example, this will be the game we do for this series with Washington. We did two of four with the Miami series. We'll be doing the home opener on Friday, one of three for the Baltimore series. The Tiger series, we won't be calling any of those games because I'll be doing a hockey game and then they're a 1230 start the, the following day. So the Tigers won't get us. Probably do a, a game of the Philly series, probably a game of the Mets series, and then a game or two of the Red Sox series. And as the season goes on, and if they, you know, keep winning, you know, keep winning or are still really good, then you, you know, you add to the, you know, the mix. Gotcha. But currently in the Devils Ranger NHL game, they are not even halfway through the first period, and there's already combined 156 penalty minutes. Oh, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me do that. Is that three on three? 
three they play when they settle these like that. I'm not sure how the officials did it because, like I said, we were I was not not have any of it up. But so far, there are a combined twelve fighting majors already in that hockey game. Ryan Reynolds down in the count, 0-2. Uh, Mitch Keller is healthy. To the best of my knowledge, he is healthy. Not pitching well at all. It's a little cold there, I think. They're all in jackets and stuff. And shivering. Reynolds taps it foul. Reynolds unable to get a piece of that change up and down he goes. On strikes. He is a switch hitter. Here's Key Brian Hayes. That is ripped foul. I'll, I'll also add this too. We will not stream Bailey Falter pitched games. <laughs> Breaking ball spins outside, ball and a strike. If we're gonna be called the Bailey Falter uh, hate club, bring it on. Two balls and a strike. What was funny was the one uh, Coney on, on the fan goes, he was talking about the Pirates, he goes, yeah, this pitcher, I think, he'd be pitcher, better pitching this way. And he goes, and then Bailey, Bailey Fowler, I thought he was going to say something like that. He goes, I don't think he should be on the team. Three and one to keep Ryan Hayes. He goes, I don't think he should be on the team. Ground ball to short. Two away. I tell you, Keller isn't pitching much better than Miller. Or, uh, Walter. Falter's next start will be Saturday against the Baltimore Orioles. So Winsky doubled and scored in the second. That is a foul ball. Close but foul, one and two. with the one two so Winsky got jammed and it's fouled away Williams has thrown 52 pitches thus far here's number 53 and that's a low ball too Checked his swing, did not go. It's a full count to Sawinski. Williams, 3 2. 
Sawinski pops it up. He was jammed. Abrams calling for it. Squeezes it in his glove. Pirates go down in order. One, two, three. We play two and a half here from Nationals Park. The Nationals leading the Pirates here by a 4-2 score. I believe that would have been a 4-4 there. It's very close on a, you know... I've, I, I've seen so many players on, on, on this team just look and stare at strike three. Swing the bat. Even the umpires is really good at trying to pick them up and reject it. You don't know if he's going to call it or not. And in the National Hockey League tonight, I'm pretty sure that it's just going to be an all-out brawl at Madison Square Garden tonight. That game between the Devils and the Rangers... Halfway through the first period, 12 combined fighting majors, a bunch, to I a bunch of instigator penalties and game misconducts and everything. I mean, the game started off with a full five-on-five -five brawl. I'm surprised the goalies didn't get involved, too. But we'll see how high it will go. The current count on penalty minutes, 156 penalty minutes combined. 82 for New Jersey, 74 for New York. We'll see how high the top, how high the total goes as the ninth goes on there in that game between the Devils and the Rangers. A look at the line scores, everybody. Pirates, two runs on two hits and error. But everybody, tomorrow is a Bucks and Pucks doubleheader. Pirates and the Nationals at four. Penguins and the Capitals at seven. I just find it very unique that uh, both teams in Washington, D.C. Gallo with a base hit to right. Reynolds going to have to cut it off. Gallo chugging for two. And he's going to get two. A leadoff double here to start the third for Gallo. As it looks like the pitch that has been hurting Keller the most is his cutter. Welcome into the stream, Richard. Welcome in, Brandon. 1-0 delivery. They're saying he did not go. Counts 2-0. Oh. The pitch. Nice lunging grab there by Cruz on the soft liner. O'Neal Cruz makes the play. That was a nice pitch. And here is Eddie Rosario. Gallo on second. One away in the third. Bouncer back to the mound. Keller to Telez at first. Two away like that. He played the first nine games. By the were six and three. They kept it up for about another three weeks. And then 
Sweeper to the corner for a strike. Here is Lipscomb, the third baseman. Fastball taken high. Slider in the dirt, he chased it. Count is one and two. Got him looking on a call third strike. The cutter from Keller. Lead-off double for Gallo, but he is stranded there. I have not. I will look him up here in a moment. I'm not sure. I thought might be Detroit. End of three, four, two, Washington. For sure. The very fun to watch Jared Jones pitch on Friday with his upper 90s fastball against that talented... We will definitely be live for the debut of Paul Skeens. Whenever that will be. Andrew McCutcheon will lead off the Pirates' fourth. And a ball low from Williams. He walked in the second. That is 2-0. and oh. Let's foul it away. Outside corner, it's a strike at 88 miles per hour, two and two. Also, when the Rangers and Devils had that brawl to start the game, eight players were ejected from the game for the rest of it. Is it the Rangers and who? The Devils. Of course, the Devils They were probably looking for Magnus Helberg. But they said, wait, he's not on our team. He's in the Florida Panthers minor league system. 
McCutcheon, a bouncer up the middle and a base hit. A leadoff single for Andrew McCutcheon here in the fourth. Here is Rowdy Telez. And that's away for a ball. Good change up from Williams. Counts one and one. The pitch right on the edge. One, two, downstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Four, two game here in inning number four. Telez bounces it right side and he just beats out the back end. Fielder's choice, one away. They get the out at second. I was surprised that Gallo went to second when this ball was hit. I thought he was just going to take the easy out at first. Inside for a ball to Henry Davis. And he got a piece of it foul. Adding 235 on the season is Henry Davis. And that is downstairs. Ball two. That ball was elevated. And Davis fouls it back. Davis pulls it to left field. That ball is back to the track. It is caught for the second out. That ball actually traveled more than I thought. Yes. <laughs> it was off the end of the bat. That's why I, I, I was surprised at how far that went. Jared Triolo batting.
welcome in, Frank. So, so if they did win today, it would be the first time they were 6-0 and since the 60s then. Breaking ball is low. On deck, I believe, is Michael A. Taylor. Swing and a miss, one and two. Two and two in the dirt. Triolo fouled it away. Triolo lifts it to right. Playable. And caught by Thomas. Side retired. Played three and a half. Washington four, Pittsburgh two. Chris Mellis, 599. You know, you know the time it's over with in the morning? 11 a.m. Yeah. Sounds like a great. Deep cut. He had to put that qualifier in there at the end. Yeah. I think Denny's has a better breakfast, but it might suck. The lumberjack. Down the right field side and a fair ball. Going to be a leadoff double again for the Nats. Yanking that into the right field corner. Trying to bunt and it's fouled away.
Bunt is downfielded by Davis. Guns to third and they get the lead runner. Are they calling inter interference again on Davis? They might be calling catcher's interference again for the second time on Henry Davis. Which was it? Was it interference? Nope, it is. It is confirmed as we saw it in a massive throw there by Henry Davis to throw a bullet down the third to get the lead runner on the sacrifice bunt try. There's a strike to Abrams. The 0-1 pitch. Curve ball off the end of the bat and foul. Counts 0-2. Fastball inside for a ball. There's the four-seamer we've been waiting for and haven't seen much of in this game. That four-seamer is a massive part of why he had 210 strikeouts a year ago. One, two, pitch. Throw down in a stolen base. Not much that Henry Davis could do with that to try to get the runner. Vargas lead off second. 2-2 two -two pitch home. He struck him out. Foul tipped into the glove of Davis. Here is the right fielder, Lane Thomas. Ripped at Hayes on the line drive. He makes the catch. And for the second inning in a row, Keller pitches around the leadoff double. We have played four. It is Washington four, Pittsburgh two. Welcome into the stream, Russ. How are you doing? Welcome in, everybody. Give us a thumbs up and sub to the channel. That ball was rocked off. The bat there. I don't know who on the Pirates staff, but they're having Keller throw that cutter a lot, and the cutter is getting nailed. Get Mitch back to four seam after you aggressive. That's what turned his whole career around. Maybe you want to get warm up, warm up, uh... If it's that cold there.
I will say this, though. I am very impressed with how Henry Davis has been as catcher behind the plate. They are all raving about him on the radio. I don't know who and thought he could not catch last year. It doesn't make any sense. sense. Even even if he needed, you know, de- development back there. Were the Pirates really winning anything last year? No. Just put him back there and let him, you know. He said he, he, he uh, spent the winter time breaking from practice and catching. Do you know what's very interesting now with him being able to catch and be okay at it? What do you do with Andy Rodriguez next season? Who was uh, Joey Bart? His draft year was the number two overall pick. Is there is a check swing on a breaking ball low to Michael A. Taylor for a ball? <coughs> Good change up there from Williams and Taylor well out in front of it. Change up is down two and one, but it's now where with the Pirates the the three catchers that we're really going to be looking at for them is Henry Davis, a number one overall pick. That's in there breaking ball two and two. Joey Bart was a number two overall pick, and Andy Rodriguez was like a top fifty prospect in baseball, and then you have Jason Delay. Fastball swung on and missed. Sorry there, folks. I'm just sort of surprised anytime a, a batter swings through an 88 mile per hour fastball that's in the strike zone. And that's what Taylor just did there for route number one. Back to the top. O'Neill Cruz. Too happy, you can get a lot of them calls against you. One ball, one strike to O'Neill Cruz. Got a fastball up, but he popped it up in the center field. It's caught out there by Victor Robles. That's a ball low. Pirates have three. Hits on the night. Hard hit, but at first. Pirates go down one, two, three. Four and a half has been played. This game is officially official. It is Washington four, Pittsburgh two. Well, I guess what is good now, Hollywood, is that we don't have to be we don't have to be thinking to ourselves now what if this game gets rained out has to be made up in all of those scenarios now
the Philadelphia Phillies and the Cincinnati Reds just started their game a couple minutes ago after a three hour and 55 minute rain delay. Just outside to start the bottom of the fifth inning from Mitch Keller. This time just inside 2-0. Two-seamer instead, 2-1. Two and one. Joey Menendez. The sweeper outside, ball three. That is popped out of play, foul. Three and two. Three two pitch. Ball four. Halfway through about an hour twenty five minutes. Not really. There's some high cheddar and a wave and a miss by Gallo. Homer double. And a swing and a miss at a good breaking ball, strike two. Got him looking on a nasty breaking ball. I really don't know what any of it means, Hollywood, but uh, do you know how there's like the, you know, Mel Kuyper is like the draft expert for the NFL? Well, MLB Network has their own like prospects expert as this is popped up in the right right center and Michael A. Taylor makes the grab two down but they're like the experts of like the, all of the top baseball prospects they are predicting that Paul Skeens will be called up May 3rd which, of course, is a home game on a Friday night <laughs> against the Colorado Rockies. That is their sort of prediction. Take it as you will. That might be a record to be for us best. If Mitch Keller can get back to this high cheddar, high fastball, curveball slider low in the zone, he will be just fine. Make that the focal point, and if, you know, eight times a game you want to throw a cutter on a guy's hands, that's fine. 
but this gotta be your bread and, and butter. Back to back high fastballs, back to back swing and misses. And it's 0 and 2. Oh, two pitch. Fouled back. It's funny when the umpire is being there far, what you do is the catcher just get out of the way. Wow. Heck, they just got kind of throw it. Get some right there. Low with the curveball. One ball, two strikes. This game hasn't gotten away so far. No, if he hits a home run here, it has. 78 pitches going on 79 here with two outs in the fifth for Keller. Got him! Struck him out! Wipe out breaking ball. And, that, and that's the Mitch Keller we are expecting to see. Three straight zeros up on the board, and we played five. Pirates need a comeback. Down 4-2. Is very good to see though from Keller. Line score for Pittsburgh, 2-3-1. Washington, 4-6-0. And, oh. and Brian Hayes leading off the Bucko sixth. Takes a breaking ball for strike one at the knees. Another one waved at and missed. And the 0-2. Wow, three in a row. Trevor Williams makes quick work of Key Brian Hayes. And it looks like the Nationals will make a pitching change here. Bring on a lefty to face Jack Zielinski. The Washington Nationals right now. Yeah, he was playing. He was on the mound. I asked you. Took off a break. He always had a good slider, didn't he? Just a very soft tossing. Rely on. Yeah, all right, stop. Location. Rely on the sun being at a certain position. Umpire with an extra wide strike zone. He's always a good 
picture of it, but I think he had some bad, bad times, but overall. I think it's always on until seven thirty. Out and here is the Lefty Garcia. Facing Sawinski. Robert Garcia, fourth appearance. And Sawinski pulls it to right field. He did it off a lefty, a Jack Jack! And that baby's gone. Sawinski's first of the year. And he's made it a one-run game. Four, three. And now here's McCutcheon facing Robert Garcia. And that's pulled on the ground foul. You believe it. Off of a lefty. He's done last, last year a few times today. If he's going to get better at hitting lefties, you got to let him. Hollywood, you got to let him face the lefties. Counts 0 and 2 to McCutcheon after that swing and miss. The pitch. Outside and down. McCutcheon broke his bat on a foul ball. Wow, everybody, wowza. Four, three. And the one, two pitch. Blew it by McCutcheon, a strikeout, two gone. Wowza. Garcia tried to go before the batter was ready. As here's Rowdy Telez. Inside corner, a strike. That's definitely not his wheelhouse, but he swung anyway. 
the right-hander Weems getting ready in the bullpen for Washington. What shocks me, Hollywood, is that the New Jersey Devils tonight almost hits them. It's one and two. I just can't believe it, though, that they would actually go along with a five-on-five -five brawl to start the game with their playoff chances on the line and four of their players get ejected from the game two seconds in. Like, you pretty much ended your season yourselves. Two and two to Rowdy Telez. Yep, game misconducts two seconds into the game. Yep. Counts three and two. He awarded a ball to Telez because Garcia is going too fast. So he got an automatic ball against him. Payoff pitch. Ball four. And that is a walk to Telez. It's nice to see that there's, you know, a violation and whatnot when a pitcher goes too fast. He was going too fast. He was stretched. I did not know that was a thing. Are we going to get a pitching change? We are. Davey Martinez comes, gets the ball from Garcia, the right-hander. Will come on for the Nationals. It is Weems. And we will be back after this. Only a baseball left. Sure. One running. It's going to be one. Just got caught, maybe. They're all saying they're waiting for the. Hard to start hitting the long ball. I think they want to hit four this year. They led all of Major League Baseball in spring training with home runs, and it really wasn't close. I believe they had 49 home runs in spring. I think a lot of that was O'Neill Cruz hitting. Tampa Bay that went from last place to Winning the Super Bowl or winning the World Series after that. Not winning the World Series. They went from last place to getting to the World getting Series. It was 2008 that that happened. Weems on to face Henry Davis. And that's in the dirt for a ball. I kind of like this bet. I figured that we would get a more 
you know, with the right hand that starter, we'd get, you know, what their regular lineup's gonna probably be. Swing and a miss there by Davis. Ball and a strike and a good slider from Weems. It's not for, for. I don't think it's raining outside. I don't think so. Uh, one two pitch to Davis. Popped it up. Shallow right. Lane Thomas is in. He'll make the catch. Which catcher do you think they may uh, deal with? Well, Andy Rodriguez is out for the season. When did he get injured? Who? Andy Rodriguez. In winter ball. You have winter ball, Hollywood. Winter ball. Welcome in, Bray. Welcome in, Bray. Uh, I would like the Pirates to keep this up, too, my friend. Uh, the Orioles will find out a lot about this bucko team when they play Baltimore. No, 4 p.m. How about the Saturday game? That is a 4 p.m., I think. I thought they just put something on the TV, too. Well, they're probably starting their pregame coverage two hours earlier for the home opener. And as we are back, everybody, there's a ground ball up the line. The first, Telez tosses to Keller, and Lipscomb is the first out. Mitch Keller has really bounced back from that second inning. Keeping it at a 4-3 ball game. Hunter Stratton and Aroldis Chapman getting ready in the Bucko bullpen. That's just a beautiful piece of hitting there. Down the left field line. It's going to be an opposite field. Double to left. Hollywood, that's not on Keller. That's just a gorgeous piece of hitting right here. That's a beauty. One out double. And can he pitch through the raindrops one more time, Luis Garcia? Or will Derek Shelton give him the opportunity? <laughs> Cut her down the middle for a strike. To Vargas. Oh, 
one pitch at the feet of Henry Davis. Dreary, cold, rainy, misty night in Washington. There's another great piece of hitting by the diving Hayes. Garcia going to score, play at second. He's in there. What a slide. 5 3 Nationals on the RBI double. Two seamer got a little bit too much a plate. Are we getting a pitching change? We are. Bottom of the sixth. Mitch Keller exits. Stratton will enter. Pirates down 5 3. That we're winning this game for some reason. I think we should come back in the seventh inning to probably its best game. What do you think? We'll see. Uh, they they haven't had many uh, base runners on. Not a good start to the year for Keller. Allowed five runs in Miami, four of them earned. On opening day tonight in five and a third innings, five runs. I believe all of them, all five tonight, are earned. How many? 28. Twenty-eight. No, I'm sorry. Tonight for Mitch Keller. Five runs, four of them earned. The reason why one of the runs is not earned is because of a catcher's interference against Henry Davis. New pitcher Hunter Stratton. And that is high for a ball. The pitch in the right field. That's a base hit. Reynolds will fire it in. You probably had to reload it, but the issue is then everything gets all screwed up where it was like perfect and not buffering for two hours and then it starts to like it is right now. Right. So what I do, you know, what I'm trying here is that we're going to completely X out of the browser. Going to completely X out of Microsoft Edge. And instead... I'm 
going to bring it up on Google Chrome. Actually, get sound on that. Is there anything for the sound? Oh, I see what it is. It default. Do you see how there's an X? It's it defaults as no sound. Oh, what? It defaults as yeah. no sound. You just gotta click on it. And there we go. Mine didn't have no X on it. Uh. I don't know why we're in commercial right now, everybody. Uh. But that are just singled. And... Never mind, everybody. The inning is over. Hunter Stratton got Lane Thomas to line out. To line out for a double play. Caught by O'Neill Cruz. Got the runner at first. Stratton got out of it for Keller. And the score remains 5-3. I just wish that when that two-hour thing happens, I would just like it to, you know, be, you know, in between a half inning. Because it's something I really can't, you know, solve until the, you know, until the conclusion of that half inning. We are back here, everybody. It is 5-3 Nationals, and Hunter Stratton, with the help of O'Neill Cruz, kept the Pirates in this ball game. Got out of the jam. And Jared Triola will swing in a slider in the dirt. Come on, this is really I'm not a fan of that. The 0-1 is high for a ball. After Triola, it'll be Michael A. Taylor. There's a chase, one and two. I did not, as a whole, I did not like Keller's outing tonight. Fastball outside, two and two. I thought he used the cutter too much and it was getting smoked. His fastball location wasn't very good. And now the two, two. Outside, three and two. And I felt he was better in the middle innings once he got away from the cutter and went, you know, forcing fastball high, curveball sliders low. In the fourth and fifth innings was when he was at his best. There's a leadoff walk for Triolo. As Hollywood request, he gets. What did you say about this ball game tonight? So it is written, so it shall be done. Michael A. Taylor, center fielder, two runs single back in the second inning. 1057 And that's outside ball one. Do we think Washington has a left-hander getting ready for O'Neill Cruz on deck? I don't have their bullpen in front of me. 
That's fouled straight back off the screen behind the plate. Third baseman's playing even with the bag. You could easily scoot one by him. There's one pickoff throw. Yes, and then the third one's a balk if you don't get the runner. And the 1-1 one, one pitch. At the knees, inside corner, 1-2. and two. One, two delivery. Strike three called. Paint. For the first out. Got him looking. A right-hander getting ready in the Washington bullpen. And Weems is going to be yanked for a new pitcher. O'Neill Cruz will see the new Nationals pitcher when we come back. It is right-hander Hunter Harvey. Now that's interesting. Right Having a right-hander on the mound and bringing in another right-hander to face Cruz. And the reason why is because they do not have any other left-handers available in their bullpen. No honor. Robert Garcia is their only one. Everybody, we will be with you again tomorrow evening for Pittsburgh Penguins hockey. And how you really only see them in baseball? Yeah, you see them in, uh, what else? Yeah. Hockey, a lot of them are left-handed yeah. shots. Third appearance, Hollywood, for Harvey. Welcome in, Gavin. How are you doing, buddy? Here's O'Neill Cruz. But first, a throw over to first to keep Triolo near the bag. Looks like a change-up. And they're called for a strike. And another one. Swing and a miss. One and two. Yeah, I'd call that a strike against him. I'm not at that. Ball is exactly the way that was done. Count 0 and 2. Now the pitch. Wow! 
What? Stop! You can't blame him. He, he just went change up, change up, and then 98 on the inside corner and freezes Cruz for the second out. That That is... some stuff right there. There's Brian Reynolds. There's that changeup again. Look at the action. In the dirt ball and a strike. Welcome in, Frozen Sunset. And as the Pirates are trailing here by two in the seventh, Harvey to Reynolds. Swing and a foul back. One two pitch. Another swing and a foul. One two. Inside and Reynolds is work the count even. With how the rotation is lined up, Mitch Keller will not face Baltimore. That's low three and two. That makes this an extremely big pitch here. He will pitch the first game against the Detroit Tigers Monday night. Three, two pitch. Reynolds checked his swing. And the home plate umpire rung him up. And Derek Shelton coming out. And he just got thrown out of the game. Derek Shelton just got ejected by the home plate umpire. As the Bucko manager just got tossed. And he's going to get his two cents. Derek Shelton furious that the home plate mm -hmm. umpire rung up Brian Reynolds for strike three. Instead of appealing it down to the third base umpire, that's what their beef was. Yeah, I guess so. Their I... beef is that the home plate umpire unilaterally made this call. Reynolds was pointing down toward third. So is manager Derek Shelton as well. Oh, he just gave Derek Shelton the heave-ho. Mike Mulchinski. Mike Mulchinski ejecting Bucko manager D Derek Shelton tonight. I would definitely say that Shelton got his money's worth. That's a very close one. On the check swing. Very close one. A Everybody, it is the seventh inning stretch. Pirates without their manager the rest of the way. And they'll need to come back late.
as Hunter Stratton remains on the bump. First bucko ejection of the year. Like I said, the shocking part to me is that that's literally why you have the umpires down the first and third base lines. Hollywood, that, that, that is literally right. why you have them down there. It's because they get a little bit of a different viewpoint than you. Josh Fleming warming up in the Bucko bullpen right now. As that's outside, two balls, two strikes. At the knees and a called third strike. Is Fleming for Gallo the lefty? He is, as I believe that is, bench coach Don Kelly coming out to make the pitching change acting manager for the rest of the night. As you sort of look and you're like, who is that? Definitely a beef with not appealing a down the third base. That I agree with As everybody in the top of the seventh inning, Brian Reynolds, Derek Shelton definitely have a beef as the home plate umpire Mike Mulchinski made the call single-handedly instead of appealing down to third base. And that is what led to the heave-ho of Bucko manager Derek Shelton. That's a his ejection. In the eighth inning, by the time we're there, still the meat of the pirate line. If you have three, four, five, do up for Pittsburgh in the eighth, and it's the third appearance of the year for Josh Fleming. And a sweeper is swung on and missed by Gallo. As we are going through here, Pirates will need a late inning comeback again. That is a broken backgrounder pulled foul. One ball, two strikes the count. The pitch is low. It's 
So you see the precipitation coming down as that it was unable to be scooped by Triolo, and they're going to rule that a single. Gotta pick it, man. Herbert Ruiz on happy there with that straight call, Hollywood. You were wondering as well. Baltimore Orioles, a walk-off win tonight over the Kansas City Royals. Bouncer back to Fleming. There's one, and there's two. That baby's a double play. They did? We'll tell you in a moment, but here from D.C., we'll go to the 8th, 5-3. AL East is a gauntlet of a division. Yeah. Gauntlet. I believe all five of the teams, I think, were over 500. Which is really good because they play each other. Baltimore is four and two. On the year. Four and two are the Orioles. And let me see if they play tomorrow or not. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. That's the grounds crew right there. You know what that means. Impending weather might be on the way. And let's be honest, if it's that bad, they're just calling it. In the dirt to haze, one ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Hayes a swing and a foul. Welcome in, everybody. Give us a thumbs up. Click that like button. If you're new, sub to the channel. There is a strike three called on Key Brian Hayes. And Hunter Harvey is someone to be reckoned with out of the Nationals' bullpen. Ball outside to Sawinski. That is in there at 98. That is outside two and one.
Counts two and one. That is inside ball three. Good hitters count. Went. And it's three and two. That would have been ball four. Three two pitch. Off the fist, and it's caught by the pitcher Harvey. He broke his bat. That was a frustrating at bat, to say the least. Hollywood. Up and in, ball to McCutcheon. That's a good changeup. Nasty. That is low ball two. Let me think here. McCutcheon's the number five hitter. Three and one. To him. On deck would be the number six hitter, which I think is. Davis? Three and two. Swing and a miss there. No, it's Telez, I think. You're right, it is. Bye-bye, McCutcheon. Fastball missing it in the middle of the plate. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It is the Nationals five and the Pirates three. And the Pirates are going down kicking and screaming. Be Telez Davis and then Triolo in the ninth. If he gets somebody on, I don't know how well he hits the long ball though. Two thirty Friday. The game. Oh, that's the time it comes on probably. Six, seven, eight. Telez has a little bit of power. Yeah, but he's not. He's the first one up. Davis has power. Michael A. Taylor has run into some things over the years. He's having a career year. <laughs> so it's really hard to say that, but it's he's really having a good start, isn't he? In this and weather. Two of the two of the runners would have to be on base to get to O'Neill Cruz's spot in the ninth. That's why I was hoping that McCutcheon 
even if they didn't get anything done in the eighth there. That's why I was hoping he would reach so that so that you would only need one runner on to get to cruise. The Nationals closer on Sunday blew the save. Against the Cincinnati Reds. Mm -hmm. That's on the corner. Two balls, two strikes to Rosario. As there he is, Finnegan. Three two pitch. He struck him out a K for Fleming. Say it hit his foot, so a foul ball hit the batter's foot. Lipscomb. There's a wave and a miss and a good off-speed pitch there. The 0-2 pitch pulled on the ground foul. And the 0-2 again is way outside. Two and two. Did he? Says Lipscomb did not. And the count is full. Popped him up on the 3-2 pitch. Telez. Got it. Two down. They signed him in free agency. One year, $4 million contract. Who was he playing for before that? Milwaukee. And there's a wave and a miss by Luis Garcia. See what's going on at Madison Square Garden. There's a wave and a miss, two and two. Wow. New Jersey with a three to two lead just starting the third period. The Rangers and no fights since the first period. Fleming's 3-2. He 
struck him out. Good inning out of the bullpen. Josh Fleming puts up a zero. Pirates three outs to work with. They need two to tie. Can they do it against the Nats? Stay with us and find out. I know you didn't see the closer didn't save it yesterday, but how is the overall? Is he got a good reputation? Not really. Been on the closer on a bad Washington team. Uh, okay. Hasn't been overall great. Three runs, four hits, an error for the Bucks. Five, ten, and zero for the Nats. Finnegan is on. Ninety-eight and a strike to Telez. Ball inside. And the 1-1. One, one. Tapped into the ground. Foul. 1-2. and two. Finnegan's one, two. Ah, pie ball two. Two to Leds. Outside three and two. He can get on here would be a good start. Strike three called at the knees. That was a strike. That was a strike. I'm all for being patient, but when you get the two strikes, you gotta Expand your zone a little bit so you're just not standing there looking like a fool.
Ball one to Henry Davis. Pirate catcher. Up high again, 2 0. Oh. To Henry Davis. Hitless in three tries. And there, 2 and 1 at the knees. Now, that's a take I understand. You know, he's been wild. It's not middle-middle. Yeah, you want a guy on base, too. Mm -hmm. For a long ball. In the dirt, 3-1 and one with a either a change-up or a splitter. Rain coming down, and the fans that aren't moving to dry ground... To third on the ground ball. And the throw is high. Davis will reach. The throw went into the seat. So Davis will be up to second base. Throwing error over there by the third baseman. Wow. Uh, second base. Keeps a double play out of that. E5 on Lipscomb. And here's Jerry Triolo. In the right, playable, and caught for the second out. Michael A. Taylor. One for three today. Ball one. Pitch clock violation on Finnegan. Ball one. Counts 1-0 and oh with the violation. Sliders inside corner for a strike. 1-1. One and one. Those conditions are just hideous. That was the one. Couldn't pull the trigger. 1-2. and two. Pirates down to their final strike and Michael A. Taylor calls time. The one two pitch. Swing and a foul back off the screen. Swing and a miss struck him out. Ball game over. And the Nationals take this one tonight by a final of 5-3. That was a 
Trevor Williams, the winner. Mitch Keller, the loser. And Finnegan gets the save. As Washington gives Pittsburgh their first defeat of the season. Let me see our uh, bullpen came in. And they, they Allowed one, nothing. One run, right? So they get five, two, three, then they. Mm -hmm. Five, two. Stratton and Fleming shut the door the rest of the way. Post stream prayer coming up next here in the Truth Seat 25. Well, everybody, it's baseball. It's 162 games. I'm really not going to fret over wins and losses in April. I'm not going to do that. The season is, you know, too long for that. We all knew that even the best teams in the history of baseball lose 50 times a season. <laughs> they do. They do, really, right? Oh, yeah, you know, you can't win them all. What I did like, though, is Sawinski hitting a home run off a lefty. Was pretty much the first you time... Somebody was on base. Pretty much the first time this season that a pitching staff kept Cruz, Reynolds, and Hayes down, all three of them, yeah. in one game. Combined, they were 0 for 12 at the top of the order. And Reynolds. Cruz, Reynolds, Hayes, 0 for 4 each. Oh, Reynolds, you said that. Mm -hmm. Everybody, our next stream will be hockey. It will be tomorrow night in a must-win situation for the Pittsburgh Penguins as they take on the Washington Capitals. That is a 7 p.m. puck drop. Of course, the Pirates do play the Nationals tomorrow afternoon. That is a 4.05 first if pitch. If had a choice of whether the Pirates would win tonight or, or uh, Penguins would win tomorrow, I'd say I'd like to see the Penguins win. Penguins win tomorrow, absolutely. Yeah. Playoff implications, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's really not even a discussion. Reynolds a home run. Uh, it seems like in the middle innings, fourth, fifth inning there with Mitch Keller, when he went to more of high fastballs and breaking balls low and got away from the cutter for a couple of innings, he was... Uh, he was actually lucky he only gave up five runs because there was a guy in second and third. Yes, yes. He, yeah, there were a couple of innings there where he gave up leadoff doubles and was able to pitch out of it. The stuff is there. The talent is... The, the stuff is there. Uh, yeah, I think I think he'll get it ironed out. What works out for him is that with just how the schedule goes, he will miss the Orioles. He will not start during the Orioles series. The Orioles series will be Jones, Bolter, and Gonzalez. Keller will pitch Monday night's game against the Tigers. And they are not as good of a lineup as Baltimore's, obviously. But let's get to it here, everybody. Our post-stream prayer. Lord Jesus, in your name I pray. Lord, I'm going to thank you for the game today and for the surprising amount of viewers that we had, Lord. Please bless them with your love, favor, safety, and protection. Lord, have your hand of healing over my dad's head and his migraines. Lord, be with Hollywood and keep him strong. And Lord, give me the final push that I need here at the end of my semester for my last college class to get it done this semester. And I'll have a little bit of a break until June something or so with that. And also, Lord, just continue to bless us and give us your favor on, the, on your path that we are going on. In your name I pray, amen. 5-3, the final for Washington, everybody. We will see you tomorrow night for the Penguins and the Capitals at 7. Our next baseball stream will be the home opener for the Buccos Friday at 4-12 Eastern. For Hollywood and the rest of our great crew here in the Truth Serum, Joey the Truth Wagner saying God bless, good night. We will see you next time, everybody. Adios.